Hey there fellow Factorians, Onerous here with another episode of Let's Learn LTN and Space Exploration and man, I am just, I'm so excited with our uh, playthrough at the moment. I've got to say, um, Space Exploration, man, it just, it, it just scratches that itch for uh, the sci-fi elements that, uh, look, Factorio, I mean, it is sci-fi, but uh, you know, look, look, we're in space, stuff's happening, it's complex, it's got everything. Anyway, um, hopefully you're enjoying as much as I am. So. Uh, last episode, we started to put together some things to start making uh, astrometric astrophysics. What is it actually called? Better, better check that one. Um, astronomic. There we go. Um, astronomic science packs. I think I've been using the wrong term all this time. I will update the headings. Um, anyway, uh, we made we made a few telescopes, and then um, enough astrometrics labs and gravimetrics labs to do sort of one thing um you may notice i've made a lot more telescopes and i actually want to make a bunch more because and we'll get to it we'll get to it all right um telescopes so in and out they um let's see if we can make this uh make this sort of a a useful thing so uh we can make three things here uh, infrared observation, visible observation, and UV observation frames. And uh, to do that, uh, we need some blank. Okay, let's. Uh, what are we? What are we making these blanks in? I should probably check that first, shouldn't I? Um, one step at a time. All right. Blanks are made in a space manufacturer. All right. Let's uh, let's just plonk one down here. Uh, have one handy. Uh, we'll try and keep to this tile set. Uh, which probably means I need to sneak him in either there or uh, there. Maybe maybe over here. So it's a bit, that, that one's just a little bit weird. All right. Uh, so you're going to make um, these things. And, of course, we're going to need a requester for that. And uh, let's see, we've got no glass. Of course, we've got no glass. Uh, that was it's my bad. My bad. I need to I need to bring some more glass. Uh, but you need to connect in and make sure that we have. Uh, I'm going to go with a hundred blank blank frames. All right. And if I remember correctly from yesterday, these are actually uh, non-refundable. Uh, non-refundable. So uh, they just get used up as we go. Uh, so here's where the frames are going to be. Uh, so our telescopes then, uh, wherever they are, our telescopes then are just uh, doing it for the fun. All right. So this is where I want to get some kind of arrangement because we want to have we want to have some pipe. We want to have some pipe running down the bottom. Let's actually not put it right against there. Uh, we need two lots of pipe. We need pipe here and we need pipe here. Um, because whatever we're doing, we need cold thermofluid and regular thermofluid comes out. All right. Uh, now, the reason why I have 15 of these uh, is because... Uh, is because... What? And is that going to work? Um, no. No, it is not. All right. I just got to think about how we actually get stuff into them um that's not gonna work either all right what about this way and uh, we need one two maybe maybe I, I can't have them that close maybe that's the issue all right let's try for a different arrangement shall we um one two three And what if we do this? All right, there's a good bunch of telescopes, and they're all uh, they're all fluiding the same thing, regardless of what uh, of what we put in here. Um, and then there's our inputs, and we've we're off we're off into space. Got to watch that. Um, I probably should have the gapling gapling grappling gun uh, handy just in case. Okay. Um, so, well, it looks like I had some piping storage. Uh, let's make uh, how many do we have here? We've got 12. Yeah, we've got 12. All right, let's have four making this. 
we'll have four making this and four making this. All right, uh, that one is going to not fit. That one is going to not fit. Um, can move it down one. Uh, it's still not going to be enough. All right. Oh, this is this is this arrangement. This arrangement just not good enough, is it? Um, if I do something like this, something like this, and then have another one. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Seems a little crazy. Seems a little crazy. I know, but um, this is this is actually probably the ideal for this tile set that we got. All right. Uh, let's put these ones here. Uh, you're facing the wrong way. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You got to face that way. Uh, let's put these ones here and these ones here. There we go. Okay, four of each. Um, and then and then we go a. Uh, Input and an output for each of them. All right. Probably uh, thinking about it like bots. Bots could be a good use for this stuff. But anyway, let's have a look. We just need blank observation frames. So uh, you're going to go in. You're going to go out. And uh, we'll uh, we'll set some limits once we uh, once we do this. All right. And they're all just going to request uh, blank observation frames. Yes. All right. So you are going to connect in, and we're going to say. Uh, that is this one, UV observation frames. Uh, let's keep around 20 at, at a guess. I'm, I'm actually not sure. Uh, this one is making uh, visible observation frames. Uh, visibles. And this one must be making UV. No, infrared. Is this one UV? UV. UV, all right. Uh, infrared. Infrared, there we go. All right, so we have 20 of each. Perfect. All right, let's pop these down. Uh, nope. There we go, there we go, and there we go. And last but not least, these ones. Okay, so that's a lot of telescopes. You may be thinking, wow, you've gone crazy with telescopes. But um, what I saw, what I saw is the astronomic data. Uh, so... Here they are. Each of these. So this takes 12 visible observation frames. This takes 10. This takes 10. Um, we are... the And, and the crafting time, 5.8 seconds. Um, crafting time that we need. Let's have a look. Material catalog that uses all these things. Uh, it is done in uh, 10 seconds. There we go. So we need... Um, we need sort of... Uh, it, this needs 12, 12, 12, this needs one of each of these, and then this needs one of them. So it's basically um, a lot. We need uh, like 12, 24-ish, because this one actually produces three, um, let's say 36, 36 in 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah, that's, it's a lot, it's a lot. So we, we are going to need more. I'm probably going to need to expand this thing um, a few times. Uh, but we got other we got other issues. Um, before I talk about other issues, let's uh, jump down and see if we can get some glass. Um, you're probably a likely candidate for actually coming up here. Um, no, let's not do that. Um, how are we going to do this? Uh, how did we do this last time? We did this. Uh, all right, uh, we did this, and then we did. And then we copy that back there. All right. And then wait for that to be built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, let's actually make sure that's not requesting 500 of them. I think it was. Um, let's get rid of it. Because it's really only this one that I had to copy, these two. So they were connected. Because um, this one, we're going to say glass. But first, we can actually request some glass. I want to request a fair bit of glass. Um, what's this what's this rocket going to do if I request glass over here? Probably not a whole lot. Let's uh, change change the plans, change the plans. All right. This first one is going to be glass. So let's have, yeah, let's have a thousand glass. Why not? 
Why not? All right. Glass request glass um, a thousand. Whoops. There we go. Didn't hit. Didn't hit the click. Man, I'm so. I, I say this every time, and you're probably sick of hearing it, but it's just a change. I'm not used to. Um, so this one is going to be. Let's make sure we haven't set this to auto yet. No, we haven't. It's good. All right. This one is going to be glass. If glass is equal to zero, send more glass. Great. All right. Um, so while we're doing this, while we're doing this, let's have a look what else we need. Um, I think we need coal. I think we need coal for these. We need coal, um, glass, and iron plates. We have we have iron plates, of course. So this is going to be coal. Um, this is going to request coal. A thousand, why not? And uh, you are going to be if coal is less than one thousand. Uh, that's one thousand. Here it is. All right, glass, coal, and uh, we need light oil. Light oil rings a bell. Yeah, we've got iron plate already, so this is going to be light oil. Um, light oil, light oil barrels equal to four eighty. Um, ooh, what's what's going on here? We're actually getting attacked. I probably should uh, make sure I'm defending against that. Um, so light oil barrels 480. No, whoops. Wanted to make that uh, zero. Don't uh, don't mess with the system. All right. That makes that zero. This is light barrels. Give me uh, 480. And you, let's keep you going if light oil barrels are less than 500, sure. All right. Um, and that is everything we need for base blank observation frames. These just need thermo fluid, which is great. Uh, and these just need... Uh, these just need uh, data cards, which we're already getting from the material science. And... Wow, is that actually everything we need to maintain um, to maintain this? All right, let's. Uh, I don't really want to. Uh, I don't really want to I don't really want to um, to kill this, do I? Um, so we don't have any greens yet, which is good. Uh, mainly because what we have light oil we have some level of glass uh, do we have glass what's that 17k 107 that's not glass uh, that's data that's substrata um, where is our glass maybe uh, maybe less than maybe zero is not the right number here maybe we go if it's less than uh, 50 all right that so apparently the apparently there's more than 50 glass up here no that can't be right have I got heat shielding tile here glass um, have we not got this hooked up correctly I don't think we have I don't think we've hooked up at all okay that is that is the problem um, and that is quite a problem because uh, this is actually offset a wee bit. Uh, okay, we'll we'll have to uh, we'll have to come down here and uh, and set that up. Um, and likewise, this is now, gosh, this. Okay, let's uh let's pull these out. Pull these out. And uh, how much how much have we got in here? We have got two k glass. Okay, that's that's enough. Let's. Uh, I think we're going to launch this. I think we're going to launch it. Just launch it. All right. Um, so, oh, this is a great time too. A great time to point out our massive fuel problems that I was having. Whoa. Um, fuel is still pretty bad, as you can see. Um, this guy's not full. Uh, this guy is full. Um, I just flew up in this one before, but um, the reason why fuel is a problem is because we were having... Uh, and we still are, look at that, still having uh, serious oil problems. Here we go. 
We're back up to oil again. Um, our refineries will kick on. Uh, to get over that without doing expansions, I've dropped speed module threes into um, into everything. Uh, there's a few more over here. So we've got speed module threes there and speed module threes here. Um, so we're getting a little bit faster. We've, we've kind of doubled our output, um, but it's still, it's still not keeping up because we're using so much rocket fuel. Uh, and as you can see, I put in this uh, section here to use up all our light oil. Um, our petroleum gas is actually going really well. So what I probably should do is uh, we've got all these sections here that are permanently cracking down to petroleum. But we should have this, um, this light oil. Um, where does this light oil go? Yeah, here it is over here. Yeah, we should have this light oil here not being cracked unless unless we're uh unless we've got the like 20k here um which maybe is something i'll do off camera let's let's add that um okay we're gonna need to jump out of that scroll this one up there we go um add new task wow uh um, what am i going to call this refining stop cracking light add to the top why not all right, I'll do that. I'll do that off camera. Oh, man, every time. Every time. So, back. Back to where we were. Um, we now have we now have a bunch of glass. Uh, we should be able to be making this. Uh, do we not have that glass? Did that not actually launch because we had no fuel? Uh, that is the issue, isn't it? I oh, know, it did launch. Um, why do we have no fuel then? Because... Ah, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, of course. Um... Now, uh, while, oh, while I think about it, um, Mr. Awesome raised a great point uh, that we should connect this into our, um, into our signal generator, uh, our launch pad. So material that comes into the launch pad uh, needs to get sent, needs to get sent in our, uh, in our signal. And uh, if we connect it up to that one, there we go. Um, so this is reading the contents of the network and uh, previously anything that gets dropped off here uh, in the landing pad isn't uh, isn't seen in the network until it's put into the these chests and well um, that can lead to a situation where we have uh, if we've got rockets being built fast enough which we definitely don't at the moment um, uh, can I get to over to one of these no of course not Looks like I've got to go the long way. Um, yeah, if I uh, if I actually get rockets building fast enough, then um, I could still have a material that's sitting in here, but actually not not um, not registered in the logistics network. So the base back down there thinks, well, oh, actually, don't have any. Better send another rocket. Um, right, wasting wasting a lot of fuel. All right. Do I have any of these? I do. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, all right. Bang. Bunch of them along there. And away we go. All right. I wonder, I wonder if I need these to be active providers. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I'll just have a couple that are not active providers. Yeah, okay, I like this idea. So these will actually store some of this stuff locally. Um, and if we have excess, then it'll go in the active providers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good, that's good. Um, so this is now making, um, but we are missing light oil. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, so uh, our assembly machine here. Okay, let's get a, let's get a tank first. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I like that. I think I like that. Why am I? Why am I putting it further away? Um, we don't need the throughput. This will just at least allow me to tee off if I need to. All right, and then let's not one of those. We want a space one uh, here. And again, likewise, I'll do the same. Uh, you are going to unbarrel, empty some light oil barrels. All right, that's, uh, that's pretty good. I guess you'll need some light oil barrels for that. A few of those. 
There we go. Uh, 187. Yeah, that's a lot of light all barrels. All right. Um, but we only want to we want to connect you up to here and say if light oil is less than 1,000. If light oil is less than 1,000, then drop another barrel or two in there. All right. Because as you see, yeah, this is not using much light oil, so we don't want to waste all of our light oil. All right, so now we are making um, these, and these guys are requesting them. Um, what are we going to do? What are we going to do about fluids over here? Well, uh, how much are these guys using? Let's have a look. Okay, so each of these are using six uh, thermo fluids and uh, sorry, six cold thermo fluids, negative hundred degrees, and then uh, releasing six. So it's it's about one a second. Um, so we would need about twelve a second to actually supply all these, which is actually quite a, quite a bit. That's not insignificant. Um, all right, let's see if we can fit something in here. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not convinced that we can't. All right, because uh, we've kind of done a bit of a hodgepodge previously. Um, and I want to. I want to just try. I want to try this. All right. So if you're doing hypercooling, and then uh, inputting this, inputting that, and then outputting that, uh, but also outputting that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. That's good. So now we need to input some thermo fluid. Well, we have we have a thermo fluid production happening over here, uh, which uses cosmic water. Uh, that that is a bit of a downer, isn't it? Um, I mean, the thing is, we're actually getting like it is quite a bit of quite a bit of thermo fluid. Um, maybe we can maybe we can pipe it across. Maybe we can. I I would like to just keep that separate. Um, do we have any more? Thermo fluid creators, uh, not thermo fluid creators, cosmic fluid creators. Ah, we've got. Um, let's have. I mean, let's let's just have a look, shall we? Let's see if we can copy and paste this over here. I mean, straight away we're going to see we're not going to fit a manufacturer in with our current plan. Um, let's do that without that. And we are missing. We are missing a decontamination facility. I wonder if we can make one of them. Uh, we should have everything we need. We should have everything we need. Let's uh, see if we got one of those uh, electric engines. Grab, uh, grab some electric engines, please. Logistics electric engines. Let's grab six of them. All right, six on the way, beautiful. Uh, and you're going to make one of these. Should have everything we need other than the uh, electric engines. Okay, okay, I'm I'm down with this. I'm down with this. Um, okay, we don't uh, we don't want any more electric engines coming our way. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Rip you out, and there we have it. All right. Uh, thanks to the electric engines, guys. I realized my mistake as I did it. So uh, let's pull this out and see if we can fit in a manufacturer here. Uh, this robot port is a little bit of a little bit of a killer. All right, we can kind of fit it in here. All right, this might this might leave us enough space. Uh, so if you're going to make thermo fluid, uh, you also need heavy oil apparently. Um, how are we achieving that over here? Oh yeah, just just by this classic. All right, look at that. Even have uh, even have space for that. Um, and then all we'd need to do is pipe pipe that in, like that. And then, gosh, we've got more stuff. We've got more stuff. We need we need that thing. And uh, it can sneak in there. All right. Yeah, we've got, uh, got plenty of this stuff hanging around. 
Uh, that would make our thermal fluid. All right. Oh man, this is this is getting tight, and I really didn't want it to be tight. Um, but you know, that's them's the brakes. Okay. If I can squeeze this in like this. Um, then we could, we can do this, we can do this. How about, instead of putting it in there, what if I were to put it here? Actually, I like this, I like this, and then all we need to do is fit in, all we need to do is fit in uh, one of these. Fit in one of these. All right, well, look, it's this, it's this dang thing, isn't it? There we go. Um, we'll, uh, we'll sort that out. We'll sort that out uh, right now. Get rid of you, get rid of you. All right. And uh, where was, where was that? Where was that hypercooler? There it is. All right. Hypercooler. Uh, what are our, what are our options here? Uh, we want, we want that out to be up there. Uh, that's an input, I guess. Something like this. Something like this. And look at that, hypercooled. Hypercooled. All right. Uh, now, how are we uh, how are we organising this? Well, I think I think we can. I think we can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If we do that there and then that there we can supply our uh, our fluids like like this yeah 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 oh man this is this is actually working i can't believe it i can't believe it um and look at that that can even go straight to ah oh, it's beautiful it's glorious it's glorious uh this not so glorious, but it'll do. There we go. All right. Um, what's holding us up here? What's holding us up here? Cosmic water. It's holding you up, cosmic water. You've got other things you need as well. You need water. And uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I remember. I remember this issue. There we go. Got to make sure it doesn't just go into here. Uh, so what is that actually set to? Uh, 2K. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's working. Uh, we're now getting some here. Uh, you're still, you're not working. Um, okay, yeah, you are, you are getting some overflow now. Yep, yep. All right, and then you're working. And we need to put some speed modules. Oh, we already had speed modules in those ones. Uh, this one probably does not need speed modules. No, it's okay. Yeah, yep, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. All right. And now, uh, now we have some of those, some of those things getting getting made. All right. How many of these do we have? We have a lot. How are we doing for time? Uh, we are very, very, very close. Let's pop down these uh, astrometric thing and my jigs. All right. Astrometric data uh, visible. One, two, three. Uh, visible, infrared, and UV. I think, I think, it looks like these are just a very simple, uh, very simple that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 60, really? Um, okay, all right. Seems a bit greedy, doesn't it? And I am gonna put these uh, right here on the edge to minimize the bot travel. All right, that going in, get that going, got some data cards coming in, outputs, 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 all right. And uh, yeah, we do have uh, some chance for some scrap there and junk data cards, uh, blank data cards to junk data cards, yeah, yeah, okay. So there's a chance of actually getting a data card back at this stage, which is interesting. Um, so apparently we have no UV because uh, we're not getting enough thermal water. Well, I 
can't say that that is much of a surprise. Um, are these just really slow moving or are we out of power? No, no, they're just slow moving. All right. Uh, so the issue here is not enough, not enough thermal fluid. Um, by the looks of it, we actually only have enough to power, like, not even, not even half. Wouldn't so uh, maybe, maybe we got six. We can kind of see six-ish moving. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Um, you are definitely working at max, max rate. Um, yeah, yeah. So you are, you are getting enough cold thermo fluid. Uh, these guys are keeping up. We would just have to uh, get this going. Um, this guy's actually out of sulfur. Because we have no more sulfur uh, in the network. And uh, presumably we're out of fuel here. So yeah, yeah. That's why he's not sending. Um, let's put more sulfur in here, shall we? Let's put this up to 2k. Keep going. Just keep going on sulfur, alright? Um, we'll make this 1k. Why not? And then, yeah, yeah, all right. Uh, this will, should have a green signal, yeah, it'll launch. It's got two green signals. Um, sulfur and copper plate, or low density structures. Um, doesn't actually, we can't really say where they're coming from. Um, uh, copper plate by the looks of it. Uh, no, we've got 1,700 copper plate. must be low-density structures, 1,000 low-density structures. Um, if this is getting a green signal, whatever is getting a green signal should actually be in here. Uh, oh, yeah, we can actually see who's outputting. So this guy's outputting as well. Um, ah, we have no material testing packs. Uh, what are these guys missing? Uh, stone! My goodness. Uh, do we not have stone getting boxed somewhere? Um, apparently not. Apparently not. All right. Well, let's fix that. Um, this is the stone to the bus. This is the stone kind of to here. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just do one of these. Um, over here-ish, I guess over here. Um, that's going to need that, and we're going to get some stone. Um, let's make it a thousand. All right. Uh, that will allow us to actually make some more material testing packs. Okay. Um, that could be a problem if we don't have any available. Um, all right. Back to. Back to back to space. So, um, before I go any further, let's uh, let's just set the last one, which is uh, this guy. He actually needs some fueling, uh, which fortunately we have very readily available. There we go, just like that. Um, uh, but those pipes. I oh, know they do not uh, do not limit him at all. All right, go like that. In and out requests, ten of each. All right, and then the last one is the gravimetrics, which I think actually also needs um, no, just needs atmospheric at astronomic data. One. All right. Seems okay. And uh, another chance for junk data cards. All right. Let's put some limits on these. Let's put some limits on these before we forget. All right. This is uh, the green one. The green one. Uh, visible. Yep. Uh, I don't know. 40 seems to be the limit we're having for the other ones. Um, this one is the yellow one. Uh, infrared. And this one must be UV. There we go. All right. Uh, this one is astronom astronometric, uh, astrometric data. There we go. Uh, 40 is a lot. And then this one is gravimetric data. Uh, nope, that one. Copy that there. Um, gravimetric data. Let's just keep, uh, I don't know, 10 of them. 
All right. And we, we, we'll drop this down. We'll drop this down to 20. No, we'll drop this down to 10 as well. Uh, no, 20, because then 10 will go into that one. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, yeah, this is uh, this is pretty good. We, we need more telescopes, and we need more um, more fuel. More fuel. Uh, well, apparently we, uh, we must have received a launch. Yay, all right. Uh, so this guy here should have no fuel in him. Uh, yeah, okay. It's good. Well, it's not good, but uh, as you can see, we're still struggling with fuel, uh, even with even with everything here. So I, I need to fix this up and make it make sure we're prioritizing light oil, um, so we can get that good ratio for solid fuel. Um, oh, it's just a crash. All right. Well, um, that's the first part. We still got to make the um, make these data cards. We're going to expand this all, and uh, we'll continue that. Uh, I'll do a little bit of cleanup off camera. Um, get that uh, get that oil refining sorted out properly, so we can get more rocket fuel and speed that process up. And uh, then I think we are pretty happy with where we're lying. Um, yeah, I, I'm I'm pretty confident. So next episode. Um, we'll finish off astrophysics. Astro oh, God, I've forgotten the name already. I better double check that. Um, we'll finish off the blue space science and uh, see what takes our fancy next time. So, as always, uh, if you've got some ideas, got some thoughts, seen something I've done wrong, do let me know in the comments below. Love hearing from you guys. And most importantly, thanks to my Patreons, and I'll see you tomorrow.